for 2011. There'll be new challenges to the crown. And as you can see, it was going to be very important to see who would get out the gate here and grab that all-important hole shot. The fastest man on the track all over the weekend was Julian Bill, who won the final round of 2010 in Switzerland in his home race. So he was looking to at least take advantage of his pole position and get away at the head of the field. Well, as the riders disappeared up and over the, tr the hillside here, as you can see, past the work area, very, very difficult conditions. Number five, it was Milko Potasek, who uh, made a good start, but so too did our uh, winner from last year in Switzerland, that of course being Julian Bill, former MX1 rider. But Milko Potasek, though, he looked in control, the Frenchman, on the number five Honda as he headed down the hill. He was being challenged by Dimitri Parshin and also uh, Marco Maddy. But riders having to find alternative routes around this circuit, even on these big 450 machines. Very difficult to find a way around here. 153, that is Marco Maddy on the KTM. His dad, Corrado Maddy, a former world champion in the 125 division. And we had riders spilling off all over the place. A lot of anxious eyes looking on as well. There we see Julian Bill disappearing over the brow of a hill. 73 going through. Well, he was a little bit further down the order. Well, no, that was Dimitri Parshin. He was in second position, having a good ride. Our um, early leader, Milko Potasek, he was having a bit of a nightmare. He fell, and so the lead was handed to number two, Julian Bill. Dimitri Parshin, he was running in second position on the 73 bike. Third was the uh, 153 of Marco Madig. There is our race leader, Julian Bill. And he went on to take the chequered flag in this first race. Second was Dimitri Parshin. Third was Marco Maddy. Fourth was Timo Podisek. And in fifth position, it was Michael Stauffer.